Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, good morning. I'm out of breath here. We have a huge, huge show today. We've already spoken to Adam Sandler, and now we have two kind of woodsmen in the studio. <laughs> yeah, I it's, guess you it's could sort say of, that. Sort of interesting, and they're both in, in their own ways media figures. Yes. We have a guy who's, um, in the last year, become one of the most popular people in American television. He's Rupert. He's like the Elvis of uh, <laughs> of these reality shows. Uh, Rupert is an old friend of the show, actually. We met Rupert years ago. And then, what, oh, 90% yeah. of the oh, people yeah. probably don't even know your last name. I know it. I know <laughs> it. That's okay, though. Mm-hmm. But it's Bonham out there, to yeah. put it out there, because it's Rupert B. on my website. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. So you got to know my last name. Somebody um, bought my name, so... If you go out to Rupert Bonham, it's not me. <laughs> See, that's your first lesson. Your first lesson in show business. You darn right. How can I cheat someone? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to show business. <laughs> and for that uh, aspect, we'll turn to uh, Drew Hastings. <laughs> now let's meet. <laughs> oh. Now we, well, these guys actually have have quite a bit in common. Uh, both Midwesterners. Drew Hastings yeah. is a, a sophisticated, urbane comedian. Been living in Los Angeles yeah, for yeah, quite urbane. some time. Yeah, urbane. But now we should explain to Rupert that uh, Drew has spent the last two months. Hold up in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. No yep. mail delivery, no television, no anything. And you'll fishing? notice, you'll, let's, let's just compare and contrast. Rupert's wearing a uh, sort tank, of a tank top. Tank, tank top. top. Yep. Tank top. Um, and uh, looks tan and healthy. And uh, Drew Hastings <laughs> is wearing, you look like you were once again abducted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in South, some South American country <laughs> Here's we that. haven't heard of. You look like you were abducted at an art gallery. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then held for two months. <laughs> not allowed to shave, no. and then released onto our show. Okay. And we put you in front of the camera, and you go, I'm just glad to be here, man. Thanks yeah. a lot for everybody who tried to save me. Thank you. <laughs> but, and in the meantime, I whittled some wooden eyeglass frames. <laughs> yes. Now, Rupert um, distinguished himself by being uh, on the show Survivor, uh, by being a guy that could go out there and catch fish. Right. And, uh, and, Take and, care and, of my tribe. Plus, you were able to have everybody like you. Right. And I, I don't know if you heard this about, about this, but Rupert won a million dollars as voted by the American people. They gave a bonus million for the, for yeah. the guy that people liked. How okay. a million? Yeah, I won a million. That's I've done four pilots for every <laughs> network on television. I haven't got a pot to piss in. <laughs> or a window to throw it out. <laughs> there you go. Now, um, before we move on, I wanted to mention... <laughs> How many really years were you in L.A., Rupert? <laughs> this is Oh, bold. God, I know, I know it. it yeah. Now let's let, let's let's just review. Quickly. Let's let's stop. I want to start okay. at square one with Rupert. Um, Rupert, uh, people watch shows like Survivor, and the, and the, you were on the two of the most successful seasons of Survivor. Right. Who was the one with the big flit? <laughs> the, the big, the big flit, flit the fairy, flit. the queer, <laughs> the one that no one liked. That was the, uh, first the naked one. man. That was the first. Yeah, one. That Richard was the naked man. Richard, Richard Hash. Hash. Actually, you know, I think Richard's really funny. You'd yes. like him. Well, oh, maybe I'd I'm, I'm, I'm like to see him out there in the cabin with me. <laughs> Would you really? Oh, oh, boy, you've been there a long time alone, haven't you? Huh? <laughs> he, he might want to be out there. <laughs> let's let's get Rupert's story out first, shall Okay, I? yes. Okay, now, Rupert, uh, tell us, how did you get on the show? How did that work? You know, I uh, ever since the first one, ever since I saw Richard Hatch, I wanted to be out on Survivor. And then in 90, uh, or, uh, 2001, I did a Survivor State Fair here with this station. And it got me to itch even more. And I finally got my application, got on the show. It was it was the best thing that has ever, ever happened to me. You know, I've just And Rupert got famous, I think, for one episode. One little moment early on in the show. Is that the pirate thing? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to explain the, the story show, to Drew? Exactly right. In the first 15 minutes of the first show, it's a pirate theme. They right. throw us overboard. We uh, have to swim to shore, go to this village and collect their supplies and take off. Right. The uh, other team, the Morgan tribe, sets their little raft down with all their shoes and all their extra supplies right next to me and runs away. So in a pirate's game, you know, pirates steal. Yeah. And, and you looked at the camera <laughs> and, you, and you said that. Yeah. And I was just, so, I was sitting at home going, this is unbelievable. You know. I saw the camera there. I didn't know. I didn't want my tribe to see me steal, and I didn't want the other tribe to see me steal. And I just kind of gathered everything, and only really even showed little Johnny Rotten, who the dead oh, grandma yeah. thing. Right. Little Johnny Rotten. I knew right off the bat that he was a sneaky guy. Yeah. So, and the shoes that I gave him, and the insoles that I gave him, the the guy found four bottles of booze. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, thing, you know. We had. Uh, uh-huh. Not only did we get good supplies, but we also had spirits. Uh-huh. Oh. You recognize that voice. That's it's amazing how 
how or how a turn of fate. It's what, because without that survivor, so you strike me as you probably would have had a meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, you would have been in the meth lab business. <laughs> and, and yet the guy, uh, boom. Actually, no. And he's actually, America's no, beloved Drew. folk. No, Drew, you are so uh, wrong. See, now he's you a are. counselor. He's I'm a counselor. just <laughs> messing with him. I'm playing actually, with a stereotype of his children, look. And actually, you are stereotyped. Actually, uh, Drew, but, yes. <laughs> um... You know, R- Rupert counsels guys that were like you when they were 14. <laughs> well, well and, and I. Really? Oh, gosh, yes. Drug guys? Oh, yes. Drug Wayward girls teens. Too? No, no girls. Not oh. in, not in, f- out of the system. The way, okay. the, the way the society is now, you don't take girls out of the system. You have to have female mentors. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. But the, but the, now, the, the larger take, point is, yeah. the larger point you have to look at is that, uh, if you looked at the the popularity ratings yeah. on the Survivor Show on the yeah. website, Rupert was completely off the charts. I'm not, and I probably shouldn't say this in front of him. People just really like the guy. He's a very likable. Oh, guy. he is a likable guy. He's obviously he's like he's like. But you guys, what I'm trying to say is <laughs> all good qualities. And someone owns a meth lab, though. <laughs> no, you don't want to be on his likable. No matter what look. career, that's right. He, no matter you what career, you don't want to buy a yeah. meth from a guy you don't like. <laughs> but see, could I, right. could I make a point here? Of course um, you um, may. My guess, though, is that Rupert known you at the age of 14 he would have said i don't have that kind of time <laughs> <laughs> but see i would have thrown a towel over the razor wire and gone over <laughs> but you might have benefits now okay i might have now yes okay, let me let me let me raise the point i think the point of this is if if it came to hollywood to to do a casting yes a guy like rupert wouldn't have gotten a tv show but what happened was Rupert got on one and people liked him so much because that's who he is and it was just one of those things. Mm-hmm. And that's cool. Which that's is the way really it should cool. be. And, yeah. Um, so anyway, that's why Rupert's a winner. He didn't he didn't win the competition. <laughs> that's <mate>. why you're a loser. I mean I wasn't trying to get personal with Mr. Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll always be oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I I, I, I <laughs> Wow. That was well put, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, exactly. Uh-huh. Re- what is the definition of friend of the show? <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's how I've been pegged for the last few years. Uh-huh. But, but now suddenly was... I'm being cast out like an old coke holder. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make the point that um, oh. Ru- Rupert isn't some actor wannabe or some. No. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that anybody is. Let <laughs> could I? Could I finish, please? I hope You're so. You're not a man enough to get up and punch <laughs> in that face. You're not a man. Oh. <laughs> could I finish, no, please? No, no. Sure, I'm not being mocked. <laughs> You're being mocked. No, no. You are not being mocked. You are doing great. Oh. Keep Let going. Me. You're doing great. Could I, could I finish? Sure. Yeah. Many of the people on these reality shows yes. are people who want to be actors, and they have agents, and yeah. they walk in, and this is, and it's, and you, you can see through it right away. Rupert is a guy who thought it might be cool trying to do this, and for whatever reason was one of the guys chosen, and everybody could see that. And Rupert isn't some guy who immediately, you know, the first time the camera's like, well, if this show works out, uh, I'm hoping to be do a guest spot on, uh, on Law, Law and Order, Law and Order uh, SDU. Yeah. Rupert's just a regular guy, and I'm not. And, and you are a sophisticated, great stand-up comedian and a good friend of the show. Okay, who's and insane? I think, interestingly enough, had you gone on a show like Survivor, yeah. you'd do very well because people don't realize you used to be a trapper. Yes, that's right. And you are, in fact, a conniver. A conniver? <laughs> I think you'd be a terrific personality on the show Survivor. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Feel better now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that it all led up to the fact that I trapped when I was 13. I trapped for a reason because I thought the girls at the local dances would be impressed if I could say, would you like me to make you a muff? <laughs> Did See, that address Drew, him? we're on Survivor. I, got my I, picture the camera, I picture the camera scanning this beautiful beach and all you see is 
Drew's head <laughs> on a stick in the sand. Here's what I here's what I can see. I see after three or four days because the, they sometimes start the show in Survivor. They'll just the people don't realize this is it. This is the time they're going to go. So they're wearing you know one of what they're wearing like their street clothes. I can see you sitting there on your fifth day wearing your mock, mock turtle turtleneck, sitting there giving them a lecture on how it is indeed going to be possible for you to create cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you get. As soon as you get flame, you are going to produce island cigarettes. That's right. 